they just talk differently in the Philippines, you know. Oh. They, like the people in Cebu have a, a certain accent. <laughs> then I got down and all the Filipinos like turned around and they're like, good job, good job. And so that comforted me. They, they were so yeah, supportive so with the language learning. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Yes, I am back with another interesting video I know you are going to love to watch. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting on this particular video, American Culture Shock, First Day in the Philippines. This video is going to be another interesting one, so watch it to the end. So guys, you know what it is before I proceed with this video. If you're watching me for the first time, you love my videos, you want to see more coming from the Philippines, hit that subscribe button, okay? Let's become one big family. Don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't get to miss out each time I bring videos like this at those days. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let's dive into this video. Watch it together and then react on it as usual, okay? I was so excited to go to the Philippines when we were at the MTC. I was counting down the days and we, you know, get, got on the plane. They're serving us like noodles and soup on the plane. It was really nice and comfortable. And then we got to the Philippines and it was really loud and, and foreign, you know. And, and it was shocking. I was in culture shock at first. So we, we, uh, we got to the Philippines and I met... President Schmutz, my mission president, he's a, he's a seventy now, so that's cool. <laughs> and we went to the mission home and we were, we were standing in front of all the people that we're going to be assigned to. And I, was, um, and I was looking and I felt this one kid and I, I knew it was him and, and I got assigned to him. And it was actually somebody you interviewed, it was Fudge, Matt Fudge. He was my trainer. <laughs> So uh, then, then he just said, our president was like, okay, get to, your, get to your area as soon as possible and start working. And so that was a little shocking. I thought we'd have some downtime, you know, like unpack. But we, we get in the taxi and, <laughs> and that yes. was my first time hearing the language in real world setting because the taxi driver was just going off and, and and I had no idea what was going on and I had my I had my little notepad and I was like trying to write down things he was wow. saying <laughs> so I could remember to ask later what those words meant. And <laughs> anyway, I was I was so nervous because yeah. it didn't sound like the same language language they taught us in the MTC. But it was. They just talk differently in the Philippines, <laughs> you know. Wow. They like the people in Cebu have a, a certain accent when they speak <laughs> Cebuano. They like take out the L's and they shorten a lot of words. So that kind of threw me off. Yeah. Anyway, so we get to our area, mm -hmm. first day in the field. We're just walking out in the street. It's so loud, people are running by and yelling and, and there's jeepneys, which is the, the big buses in the Philippines. and. And they're really loud honking. People are getting on and off, and and I was I was trying to take everything in, and and I was a little yeah. overwhelmed. But um, <laughs> then, then it started, started raining, raining really, really hard. hard. We didn't have an umbrella. An umbrella. We, were we were opening, opening an area, area too, too, so that, that was interesting. interesting. <laughs> we had no idea where to go. We were just trying to find the church first, and then where the bishop lives and yeah. so it's soaking we were soaking wet in the rain and I was thinking in my head this is gonna be a long two years <laughs> but I was really happy to be there and and I it didn't really hit me yet that I was in the Philippines I was just going along with it so that was my my first ex, my first day oh we went to a baptism later that night and I was chosen <laughs> to give a talk, like one of the talks at the baptism, on the spot. And so I went in there and I just, I was, I was shaking, I was so nervous because there was like, there's only like 10 people at the baptism, but I was so nervous to speak in front of them. It was like my first test in, in the Philippines. Yeah. And so I just went up and yeah. said some MTC phrases and then I got down and all the Filipinos like turned around and they're like, 
good job, good job. And so that comforted me there. And yeah. And so that was really yeah, helpful. Yeah, that's so supportive. At first, just the fact that they're like, wow, you've only yeah. been here for a day or a week or a month. And, you know, they say that every single day of my mission. You've only been here for two years. <laughs> so they're, they're just the nicest people. And they're very <laughs> blunt. They're very open. So uh, get used to that, I would say yeah. to somebody. <laughs> They'll, they'll tell you when you like pronounce something wrong and I was so grateful for that mm -hmm. because then you don't mess up again. You just say it right the next time. So yeah, that was that was my first day, I guess, in the in the Philippines. Apart from being kind and caring, Filipinos are open minded people, like they tell you how it is in their mind without keeping any secret behind. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be stopping here for today. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. See you all on my next one. Bye.